All right, I wanted to show the 62 Thunderbird here. I was talking to the owner. This is an unrestored original car with the 390. You can see how that air cleaner snorkel points forward, and then you can see up here on the hood, where it can get some air in. I thought that was pretty slick. Pretty nice car. I haven't been videoing much here because they've been blaring music and then I just can't put any sound in. So I just wanted to get some video of the 60. And then the Pontiac sitting there. And there's a Vega here. I don't see them around too much anymore. Standard Vega, the GT had like a tachometer and round gauges. I had a 75 GT Vega. Anyway, I just wanted to show this beautiful 62 Ford Thunderbird. Original unrestored car. There's the Thunderbird going down the road, an original car. Much the same circumstances as this car. It had a stuck engine, sat for a lot of years, nice looking car. The big boy that that was at was at 13 Mile and John R. Now we can see the dash lights in the car. There's street light I'm going under right now, but pretty much all you can see the dashboard looks pretty good all lit up at night. The headlights, everything works good on this car. Just out with a cruise with it. There you can kind of see the headlights. It's a car way up there, so I don't want to put the brakes on while it's there, but there's a the um, high beam indicator is a Pontiac emblem, or Pontiac head. Put the bright lights on here when I get around the corner. There, the high beams are on. You can see a little indicator on the dash. Headlights work pretty darn good in this car. Alright, just wanted to do a little video with the dash lights and stuff. I just wanted to add one other thing to this, well, a couple other things this video. First off, I won the little door prize at the cruise at the Madison Heights Big Boy which is on Jenner about 13 miles just north of 13 mile it has screwdrivers and files and this little saw and knife and and a scratch hole and whatnot it comes a little case to keep it in so this folds up and uh, fits in the case so I'll probably leave this in the glove compartment of the car and there it's in the, in the case doesn't take up much space so I'll just throw it in there and the other item that I wanted to talk about was the seat upholstery I talked to the manufacturer that's doing the reproduction of the fabric and they said that the fabric's supposed to be going on to the loom sometime early this next week and they said so by the end of June I should have it so maybe by August I'll have the front seat reupholstered. So that's just a little update on uh, what's going on here. And as you can see I've been using the car so I just wanted to add that little bit to the to the video. Last couple of videos I've also been using this microphone here it's a Sony I don't know, it's a stereo microphone. It gives a little better sound, so um, 
let me know what you think and I put that as you can see that vanity mirror back on the sun visor and uh, the car has been running and driving good I've been checking the oil regularly it hasn't used any oil um, so yeah so we're so far everything's been going good on the car put the little visor back up there and uh, so if the sound seems a little better let me know I'm gonna just try it out I had it on because it was windy out at the last couple cruises the limelight cruise it was a Tuesday night cruise and I thought it was a Wednesday night so nothing was there when I went there on uh, Wednesday Tom Tom and I went Tom was the one that told me about the car but only to find nothing there I'd gone out to Waterford to that car cruise on Tuesday night that cruises every Tuesday in Waterford and the one at limelights every Tuesday the one in at the Madison Heights big boy is every Thursday night and that one was actually pretty good like I say it won that little door prize there so all in all it was a fun cruise thank you for watching my videos I hope you enjoy them if you do subscribe to my channel